Hello everybody, it is I, Jeff Deggers, here for Happy Fourth of July, Happy Independence Day for America. Go America. And so, I decided today, since I actually don't work today, to do this video I told Level Hatsumiku I was going to do a while back, because she kind of gave me the idea of it. I am doing the Battle of the Whiskies. I got three whiskies here. One, made in America. Two, made in Canada. And three, made in Ireland. We got Jameson Irish Whiskey in a nice little glass bottle. Looks like the big bottle, just micro-sized. We got um, Jim Bean's Devil Cut, made in, um, I think this is made in Kentucky. Yeah, it's Bourbon Whiskey. It's only called Bourbon Whiskey if it's made in Kentucky. That's what I'm told. And then Crown Royale. Robust. Full, bold, blended Canada whiskey. Now, since technically Canada Day was, I think, Monday, I am actually going to do this one first, then I'm going to do the American, and then, of course, the Irish. And see, what country truly makes the best whiskey, in my opinion? And I have very sensitive taste buds, so I can taste a lot of flavors that a lot of people usually don't taste with a lot of things. So, I do have a clear glass bottle, uh, it is nobody's birthday today, but, um, that I know of. But it's not my birthday, but this is the only clear shot glass I have, so... We're gonna start with a shot of the Crown Royale Black. Uh, there we go. So let's go ahead and pull a little bit in here. Okie dokie. So I'm not a whiskey guy at all, but I do like Jameson. I do drink Jameson a lot, so that that one I can do because I am part Irish on both sides of my family. So I love embracing my Irish ancestry. So here we go. As you can see, we got a nice gold yellow color, common with whiskeys. Let's do the aroma. Mmm, very um standard whiskey smell, but uh. Let's see where the flavor index is. So I'm going to rate it on a scale of 1 to 10. 10 being very flavorful to 1 being straight up disgusting. So, uh, cheers. <laughs> wow. Uh. <sighs> yeah, I brought my cow going down. Mm. Cool. Don't really care for that one. Then again, that is Crown Royale Black. I haven't had normal Crown Royale. This was all they had in mm. the little mini bottles, but. Oh, oh. <laughs> Definitely a five. It has a lot of flavor in it, but I'm not a fan of the flavor, but I gotta give it a five. Okay, next up is. Jim Bean Devil Cup, Kentucky Straight Bourbon Whiskey. Do a smell index first. Yeah, it has that standard whiskey smell, so not, no points there. Mmm. Okie dokie, so here we are. Again, it has the same color index that the Canadian whiskey uh, Crown Royale has, so uh, can't really distinguish much color difference between the two. I, mean, I think Jameson's a little different, but we we'll, we'll saw she. Basically, the whiskeys have like that golden, clear, brown look to them. That's kind of how you know if it's a true whiskey, because it's like a Darker brown, but it's also like a light gold color mixed in with it. And the smells is a unique one-of-a-kind smell that whiskeys only have. Straight whiskey, not flavored whiskey. Because these are all straight. Okay. Uh, bottoms up. <clears throat> I'd have to go with a 7 on this one. 
It's not too harsh of a taste. It has a good flavor index, but taste or um, it didn't burn going down. Now this, this burnt going down. This one actually didn't go burn. It actually kind of went down smoothly. And what I mean by that is I didn't gag as much when it went down. It didn't burn like the Dickens. <clears throat> okay. Final whiskey is Jameson. Now, by, since the bottle is green, it's hard to see the color, but we can get the smell index. Let's take a good smell. Mmm, I love that smell of Jameson whiskey. So, uh, let's give us a little pour here. There we go. Okay, this one actually has a lighter color than the others, so it's not as dark. It's actually more, uh, of a lighter gold, kind of like a beer light. Like if you had Bud Light poured in a can, it's kind of like that color of a brightness. Uh, yeah, it actually has a less stronger of a whiskey smell than the other two, because this stuff is, I think, triple distilled. Uh, triple distilled, matured, and bottled in Ireland. The Bow de Saint Distillery, Dublin, Ireland. Now, I have had Jameson before. I've actually had big bottles of it, so I do love this. This is a fan, my favorite. Um, cheers. See, okay, this one, I put a 9, like I said, I'm not a big whiskey guy, so nothing will ever really get a 10, unless it's probably a flavored one, like I've had the Jim Bean, uh, vanilla, honey, apple's my favorite, those are pretty good, but straight up Jim Bean, not a fan of, but, uh, I get down some Jameson, so, ranking wise, Jameson, first place. Uh, second place has to go to Jim Bean. Third place, the Canadian Crown Royale. I'm sorry, but the Irish, we, we know how to make the whiskey. We know how to make it good. Kentucky bourbon, not a fan of. Crown Royale, again, that just burnt going all the way down, so definitely not a fan of it. So, smooth-wise... Jameson comes in first, second place Jim Bean, third place Crown Royale. For flavor, they all get first place, or odor, or, yeah, odor index, the smell of it, they all get first place. Um, flavor-wise, again, I gotta go with the Jameson. It has a, a unique flavor that distinguishes it from the Jim Bean and the Crown Royale. Crown Royale and Jim Bean Devil's Cut have the same exact flavor. It's just the uh, Crown Royale has a harsher taste flavor to it. But not flavor really, just it's not. It doesn't go down smooth. The Jim Bean goes down smooth, but Jameson goes down the smoothest. It does not burn going down whatsoever. Jim Bean it burns a little, but not much. Crown Royale that burnt going down all the way. And I can still feel it in my tummy. So, definitely, with everything considered, I think the Jameson makes the best whiskey, in my opinion, followed by Jim Beans and Canadian uh, Crown Royale. So, Ireland wins, second place, American Jim Bean, and third place, Canadian uh, Crown Royale. But again, I'm not a big whiskey guy, so take this with a grain of salt, but, uh, Stay tuned here because very soon I'm going to be doing a shot of one of the most legendary purest sprites ever made in Canada. And no, it's not whiskey. Sorry again. Irish know how to make whiskey. We Americans don't. And Canada, sorry, not a fan of the Crown Royale. And as always, please subscribe, leave comments, and have a nice day. Live a loving game on. Peace.